Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Double Portion Kingdom Ministries on this last Sunday in 2020. Can you tell what we're going to be talking about today? This is a time and a season for us to have grateful hearts. We've come this morning just lifting up praise, lifting up worship, giving the word of God access. We're preparing our hearts to receive the word. We welcome everyone on the line, on the Zoom call, on the phone call, or even those that are watching via YouTube. Thank you so much as we open this morning with Hezekiah Walker and grateful, 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 flowing from my heart is gratefulness. And we're going to continue right here in this vein of gratefulness. What we want everyone to do is just as this next praise and worship song praises, we're making preparation for the word because we definitely have a word on this morning. Let's examine our hearts. Let's give God access into our hearts to search our hearts. And if there be anything in us that's the opposite of gratefulness. That's the opposite of gratitude. God, help us, lead us, guide us in your way that you, oh God, would get the glory, that you get the honor, that you get the praise. Because truly, we want to make sure that you understand we're grateful. 2020 has been interesting. And we thank you that as we go into 2021, our hearts, our minds are set on worshiping you, on serving you. We're going to cross over out of 2020 into 2021 with gratefulness, with an attitude of praise and an attitude of worship. So we're going to go a little higher in the worship and we're going to have another time to let the Lord know. Examine your heart. If there's something where you feel you can't be grateful, this is a time to prepare your heart so that when the word of God comes forth after this word, you're ready to receive what thus says the Lord in this time and in this season. So welcome again, everyone, to Double Portion Kingdom Ministries. Know that God is in control, that he is leading us, he's guiding us, he's for us, he's not against us. And God will get the glory out of our lives as we keep our an attitude of gratitude. So we'll go into this next worship song, right into the word. Be blessed on this morning. Be blessed, be blessed as God lets us know what he has in store for us in this place of gratitude, this place of lifting him up, worshiping him on this morning. to me than I've been to myself. And God, I am grateful. Should have been dead sleeping in my grave. But God, if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, where would I be this morning? God, we're so grateful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, one of the best things about thankfulness is that the more you choose it the, easier it, the easier it gets. The more you choose to be thankful, the easier it gets. It, it, just, it just comes into play. The more you profess gratitude, the more you notice the things around you that you can be grateful for. You, the thankful muscles respond to exercise. So this morning, uh, we just come with an attitude of gratitude. We come with a, a spirit of thankfulness this morning, God. Hallelujah. Well, there is a word from the Lord and let's just go right in. I, I, I don't want to prolong the time this morning because I, I feel the spirit of the Lord is here this morning. He's met us here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go with me to the book of Philippians, the book of Philippians, uh, chapter four, verses four through 13. The book of Philippians, Philippians, chapter four, verses 
4 through 13, and I'll be reading out of the English Standard Version this morning. And our key verse is going to be the first verse, verse 4. Once again, the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 4, verses 4 through 13. And this was uh, the Apostle Paul writing a letter to the church at Philippi, at writing a letter to the church at Philippi to give them instruction on uh, how to function in, in, in the church of God. Amen. And verse, and, and, and verse four reads like this. It says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let me read that again. Somebody come on. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in christ jesus finally brothers whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. Verse 10, I rejoice in the Lord greatly and now at length you have reviewed you have reviewed your concern for me you were indeed concerned for me but you had no opportunity not that i am speaking of being in need for i have learned in whatever situation i am to be content come on somebody i know how to be brought low and I know how to abound in every circumstance. I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hungry, abundance and need, but I can do all things through him who strengthens me. The grass weathers and the flowers fade, but the word of God shall stand forever and forever. Go with me to the throne of grace this morning, people of God. God, we come to you this morning with an attitude of gratitude. God, as we prepare to exit 2020, uh, a year of trials, a year of situations, a year of circumstances like no other that we've seen in our life. God, we come this morning knowing one thing, that you have been so good to us in this season, God. God, with people dropping on the left and on the right, we can come this morning like the songwriter says, it's your breath in our lungs. So we come pouring out our praise to you. God, we come in the spirit of worship on this morning. We worship you. You said that those that should worship you should worship you in spirit and in truth. So God, we come this morning worship you in worshiping you in the spirit of holiness. We come this morning worshiping you in the spirit of righteousness, in the spirit of obedience, God. Because once again, you've been better to us than we have been to ourselves. And God, we come this morning thanking you for sparing our lives this year, Lord God. God, we come thanking you, God, for bringing us through COVID-19. Yes, some of us on the line were affected. But God, mm, mm. The Bible says that there's nothing too hard for God. So God, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. And we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called by his purpose. So God, we thank you that even when COVID-19 came and afflicted us, you said that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, the Lord delivers us from them all. So God, we thank you for healing our bodies in this season. God, we thank you for delivering us out of turmoil. And God, although we still have some things on our plate, God, we know that you're with us. 
The Lord is with us. So as we prepare to cross over into 2021, we just come thanking you, God, thanking you, God, for being so good to us, God. We thank you, God, that you never left us, you never forsake us. So we, Double Portion Ministry, come this morning with an attitude of gratitude. Oh, hallelujah, God, we pray in the name of Jesus, God, that you anoint me a fresh filling of your Holy Ghost this morning. Because, God, I can do nothing without you, but all things through Christ who gives me strength. So, God, mm, anoint me with that power that makes preaching and teaching easy. And, God, I pray in the name of Jesus that every word that comes out of my mouth this morning, God, that it brings glory to your name. It's in Jesus' name, I pray. And the people of God say, amen. And amen. Well, people of God this morning, as you can tell, I'm a little bit excited, but we come this morning speaking from a sermonic subject of an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude. You know, Smith, Smith Wigglesworth said, many people receive no blessing because they did not thank God for the last blessing. Mm, come on, I'm going to repeat that again. Smith Wigglesworth, who was a, 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 a very famous evangelist, uh, said, many people receive no blessing because they do not thank God for the last blessing. Come on, somebody. That can't be us this morning. That cannot be us. We have to thank God for what he's already done for us. Amen. We know that he's going to do more, but let, let's come this morning thanking him for what he's already done. I thank you, God that I made it through 2020 without dying, God. I thank you, God, that I, that, I, that I made it through 2020 and I still have my job. I thank you, God, that I made it through 2020 and I still have a roof over my head. I thank you, God, that I made it through 2020 and I still have food on my table. I thank you, God, that I made it through 2020 and I still have a paycheck. Come on, somebody, everybody, there, there's something that you can be thankful for on this morning. So as we prepare to transition from 2020 to 2021, many people are in this world are professing 2020 to be the worst year of their lives. But I've stopped by this morning, double portion, just to encourage you that with uh, near 68 million cases of COVID-19 globally and five and 15.1 million cases in the U.S. with uh 1.55 million deaths globally and over 300,000 deaths in the U.S. If you have breath in your body this morning, you should be grateful. Amen. You know, many of us uh, and our loved ones and acquaintances have been affected by this pandemic, you know, and among the 43 million worldwide that have recovered, mm, recovered. My God is a healer. My God is a healer. You know, that has recovered. But God, anybody ever just had a but God moment? Moment Should have been dead sleeping in my grave. But God, hallelujah, somebody. Come on, God. But God, David, the psalmist said it like this. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities. And watch this, Minister Vanessa Parker, who heals all your diseases. Come on, how that I will shut it in. My God is a healer. So as the world proclaims this to be the worst year, we as the people of God should declare this year as the year that my God spared my life. Hallelujah, somebody. So as we prepare to pass over to 2021 with an attitude of gratitude, uh, I'm going to give you six benefits of giving thanks to God. Six benefits of giving thanks to God. The first benefit of giving thanks to God is gratitude glorifies God. Gratitude glorifies God. Come on. You know, this alone would be a reason to give thanks to God. Our gratitude glorifies God as we exalt not the gifts, but the giver. In other words, we're exalting the big G, the G-O-D, the God, the one God, the I am, the great I am, the lily of the valley, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Okay, 
You know, many of us worship a lot of little gods, a lot of G.O.D.s. OK, but this morning we're talking about uh, uh, giving, uh, 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 glorifying, exalting, not the gifts, not what he's given us, not the life that he spared, not the gifts that were under the Christmas tree, you know, uh, but the giver, glorifying the giver. I, I, you know, the Bible says that uh, uh, if I be lifted up, that I'll draw all men to me. Uh, this is a sidebar. This isn't even on my notes. But many of us are praying for our family members, our children, and, 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 and people that we love dearly to come into the kingdom of God. Okay? One of the ways that we can supernaturally propel them to come into the kingdom of God people of God, okay, is to give gratitude to the giver. Because the Bible says, it's not Pastor John, the Bible says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men to you. So if we glorify the giver, okay, then the giver is going to do the drawing. Come on, somebody, you'll catch that later on. But gratitude helps us realize that all we have is because of him. It's not because of us, but it's because of him. And all we have comes from God. What are you saying, Pastor Don? I'm saying this. That everything that we have comes from God. I'm saying that. Mm, help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. I hear you. I'm saying that that house that you're living in and that that car that you're driving, okay, all came from God. That they're all gifts from God. Yeah, you, okay, you got up, you went to work, you earned a, pay, a paycheck, and you bought this stuff. But here's the kicker, people of God. If you weren't able to wake up this morning and go to that job, or if you weren't able to wake up the other day, and go to that job, then you would not have those things. So everything that we have is a gift from God. Even uh, the gift of salvation this morning, come on, eternal life. You know, God pulled you out of, a, mm, out of your mess, okay? Out of your mess and brought you into the marvelous light, pulled you out of darkness. That's a gift from God. And I don't know about anybody else on this call this morning, but for me, that's enough to give God some praise, to give God some gratitude, to glorify the giver. Amen. So gratitude glorifies God, but gratitude also helps us see God. Gratitude helps us see God. What do you mean, Pastor Don? I mean this. Uh, the Apostle James said it like this. James said, do not be deceived, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Wow, that's heavy. Let me, let me read that again. Do not be deceived, my brother, my beloved brothers. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Come on, somebody. James is literally saying here this morning that every good and perfect gift comes from God, from God above, okay? It comes down from the Father to us, that, it, that, that it's rained down, it's blessings that are rained down through the portals of heaven, amen? You know, but it says uh, uh, of lights, mm, come on. So the Father rains down blessings on you, okay, so that you can shine your light, amen, and there's no shadow on you. In other words, because he blesses you to be a light in the kingdom of God, okay, then there's no shadow on you. So your, your light shines to draw others into the kingdom of God to affect change in the earth realm. Come on. Gratitude opens our spiritual eyes. When we begin to... Uh, Think about all that he's done for me. You know, as the old saints used to say, uh, mm, when I think about 
the goodness of Jesus. My soul cries out, hallelujah. So when we think about the goodness of Jesus, when you think about gratitude, it opens our spiritual eyes because now my soul is crying out because he's been so good to me. So when you uh, give gratitude, it, 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 it opens your spirit up to see that, that the word of God is true, that it'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. And, 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 and so, yes, I've been through some things. Yes, I've been through some situations. Yes, I have had some circumstances, but my God is 100% faithful and he's never failed me yet, nor will he fail me. So gratitude opens up my spiritual eyes. But then we think about the power of gratitude when when you're thankful to God, then it opens up a whole nother rim. It takes you into a, a, no, a whole nother spiritual rim so that you can see the goodness of God in the birds of the air, so that you can see the goodness of God uh, 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 in the wind blowing, so that you can see the goodness of God in the rain, so that you can see God's goodness in everything, and you can see his power and his might when you flow in gratitude. Amen? Uh, there's a beautiful cycle in giving God thanks. What are you saying? I'm saying this. The more we thank him, the more we see him working around us. Mm. Gratitude helps us sense the presence of God. Have you ever just been in, in prayer or in, or in praise and worship and just thanking God and just, just going in, you know, Minister Parker, and then you just, you just see, you just see or sense the presence of God is all on you. If you want to, be in the presence of God, people of God. I admonish you today it is to go into your secret place, go into your prayer closet, put some worship music on in that house as you move around and you'll sense the presence of God when you go in. Because, because he says in his word, uh, enter my courts with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And praise. So you also can see his personal care and his perfect timing when, when you uh, are, are in a posture of gratitude. What, a, uh, what am I saying? I'm saying this. When you're in a posture of gratitude, when you spend time thanking God, okay, then you understand how much God loves you, that, that he took care of you even in the midst of your mess. Hallelujah, somebody. Come on. But you also understand and you have a sense of God's perfect timing. What am I saying? God's timing is strategic. Uh, Uncle Richard, how the old folks used to say, he may not come when you want it, but he's always right on time. Mm. You know, he came at the 12th hour. You experience God's perfect timing or you have an understanding of God's perfect timing when you have a posture of gratitude. Amen. But uh, gratitude does something else. Gratitude puts us squarely in the will of God. Gratitude puts us squarely in the will of God. Uh, Paul said it like this in his first letter to the church at Tesla, Tesla, La Nica. Paul said, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God. God in Christ Jesus for you. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. We often make, make God's will out to be something big or something mysterious or a big plan. Hallelujah, whatever. But I came to tell you this morning that the will of God is simply the obedience of God. Come on, hallelujah, somebody. It's simply the obedience of God, okay? God's plan. And part of his will for our life is for us to be thankful, not just on sunny days, but on hard days as well. An attitude of gratitude. So when we're uh, uh, in a posture of gratitude, it puts us uh, in the will of God, amen? You know, the Bible says, uh, thy kingdom come, there will be done. So with an attitude of gratitude, it puts us right smack in the will of God. But an attitude of gratitude also brings us peace. Uh, Paul said in 
Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. People of God, when you have restless nights, count your blessings, not sheep. You know, we've been told uh, to count sheep to get rid of worry. Count your blessings because because gratitude helps us to see that God's hands is in all of our circumstances. And God tells us when we give him thanks, he gives us a supernatural peace. The Bible says that he'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. So gratitude not only gives us peace, but gratitude draws us to God. Uh, Jesus said in the book of Luke, then Jesus answered, were not 10 clean? Where were were not 10 clean? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to them, rise and go your way and your faith has made you well. Gratitude for the magnitude of God's undeserved kindness draws us to him. We see that when Jesus healed the 10 lepers and Jesus walked by and all cried out for healing, God, show, go show yourself to the priest, Jesus commanded them. And they all went and they all were healed. Fingers were restored and also disappeared. And, 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 they, and full sensation of their limbs and faces returned. Certainly they were all happy, but only one was thankful enough to come back. Only one came back. So this morning, uh, double portion, are you going to be the one that comes back at the end of this year and say, God, it, thank you. Thank you for what you've done in my life, regardless of the situations, regardless of the circumstances, regardless to what's around me. Or are you going to be the one that comes back? But also gratitude deepens your faith. Uh, James said, as I said before, don't be deceived. So keeping a record of God's past faithfulness is a faith boost when you face new difficulties. What am I saying? I encourage each and every one of you today to start a gratitude journal. And every time God came through, God brought you out, he paid your bill, he healed your body, hallelujah. Your gratitude journey could be a testimony of the hardest days and the worst circumstances. God's record of faithfulness is 100%. That's why he commanded Israel to remember his great deeds. So people of God, I admonish you this morning, start a gratitude journal. So every time you're down and, you, and you're dealing with something, go back and look at the many times that God already brought you out, that God didn't fail you. So as we pr prepare to depart 2020, let, let's not be like the world and ex exit in a posture of sorrow. Let's not be like the nine lepers that didn't come back. Double portion. Let's vacate 2020 and welcome 2021 with an attitude of gratitude. Hallelujah. Because an attitude of gratitude glorifies God. An attitude of gratitude helps us to see God. An attitude of gratitude puts us squarely in God's will. And an attitude of gratitude brings us peace. An attitude of gratitude draws us to God and an attitude of gratitude deepens our faith. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord, for an attitude of gratitude. So as we walk with an attitude of gratitude, we will also begin to experience greater contentment in our lives. It can be said that the gratitude that we presently have is not enough. If we aren't grateful, for what God has given us, getting more won't satisfy us either. The overflow is gratitude. Of, of gratitude is joy. This will help us walk into the text. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Realizing the abundant goodness, even in the hard times, is a gateway to joy. So with only four days left in 2020, can we just thank God for what he's already done? COVID-19 should have taken me out, but God could have been dead, sleeping in my grave, 
but God. So I leave you this morning double portion with this. Will you be like the nine lepers that didn't come back to thank Jesus? Or will you be like the one and say, it's your breath in my lungs. So I pour out my praise. I pour out my praise, God, with an attitude of gratitude. So double portion, I'll see you in 2021. But in 2021, put on an attitude of gratitude because we got so much to be thankful for. Hallelujah. God, I thank you. I thank you, God, that you spared our lives this year. God, I thank you that mm, we, we, we're still here to talk about the, the things that we experienced in 2020. But God, I thank you that you didn't allow them to take us out. God, although we experienced some hardships, we experienced some things that we've never seen before. Mm. Your love never fails. Your love never runs out. It never gives up on me. God, we thank you for your love this morning. We thank you, God, that without you, mm, without you, there would be no me. We thank you, God, mm, that you spared us. But God, we thank you, God, that as we run on into 2021, that God, we approach 2021 with a spirit of great expectation, a spirit of you doing great and mighty things, because God, you said that our ladder should be greater. So God, as we draw closer to you, God, as we draw closer to you, God, lead us and guide us in all truth. God, you said in your word that the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So God, we come walking in righteousness. We come walking in obedience. Show us the way, God. And God, I pray that in this new season, that we make no steps, that we won't move ahead of you, we won't move after you, but that we move in perfect step with the Holy Ghost. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Pastor Paulette, I yield the call to you. Amen. Glory to God. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Sometimes all you can do is just pause in God's presence. And let them know how grateful you are. This word on this morning, these six points that we've gone over, they have really sparked up something in us for us to understand what it means to be grateful. Uh, one more time in our hearing, those six points that the attitude of gratitude glorifies God. It helps us to see God. It puts us squarely in God's will. It brings peace. It draws us to God and it deepens our faith. That's what an attitude of gratitude will do for each and every one of us. And as Don, Pastor Don said, yes, we may have gone through and are going through some hellacious situations, but we will choose to praise God. We will choose to worship God. We will choose to exalt God. We will choose to lift him up. God, we thank you and we praise you for this place of gratitude. Even one of the things that Pastor Don said about how cycles of thankfulness, how it gets easier as we go through these cycles of thankfulness. So we want to make sure that we're letting the Lord know that we're grateful. Why don't we allow cycles of thankfulness to break any cycles of drama in our lives, to get us out of any worry, any fear, any fret, any anxiety, as one of the scriptures that he's read, turn to the cycle of gratitude to break those crazy cycles that are in our life. Those cycles of gratitude will cause the kingdom to come even the more. This is a time. Oh, I love when he said to get you a journal of gratitude. On our Christmas gift, we talked about, uh, you'll get a YouTube if you haven't already, you'll be receiving a YouTube of the Christmas gift from us. One of the things we're talking about, maybe you're supposed to be writing a book. Your journal of gratitude will, it can in the future turn into your book. So God is letting us know on this line, there's a lot to be grateful for. And even as was talked about earlier, the first thing to be grateful for is salvation. We don't want to take it for granted that someone on this line may not know the Lord Jesus Christ. Someone listening to the playback or the YouTube may not know Jesus Christ. So we want to give you this opportunity to acknowledge the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. God, he's done something for us where there was a separation between God and man. And he sent in a substitute, a propitiation. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the son of Jesus. He came through a virgin birth. He died, was crucified, 
not died, he was crucified buried, rose again. He sent uh, another. He said, I'll send another. Another means one just like me, Holy Spirit, to live with us forever. And what we must do is acknowledge Jesus Christ and allow Holy Spirit to lead us into this new thing that we're living in with this attitude of gratitude. So if that's you, everything I've just talked about to have salvation, to acknowledge God, to accept Jesus Christ, to allow him in your heart, to lead you, to guide you, to be your savior, to be your peace, the Prince of Peace. Allow the Prince of Peace into your heart in this time and in this season. So we thank you. Um, we just thank, give everyone that opportunity. Maybe you have, have done this in the past and you've accepted Jesus Christ. Life, especially 2020, has been interesting. And you've moved away from that place of dedication unto the Lord. You can return on this day. This day, if you hear his voice, Harden not your heart, but run back into his presence. Allow Holy Spirit to cause you to pick back up where you left off and make it into your place of destiny in this time and in this season. So God, we thank you for those that have said yes to the Lord Jesus Christ and for those who are rededicating their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you that on with just a few more days to this year, our hearts are moving to nothing but gratitude. We thank you that we're grateful for what you're doing in our hearts and our lives. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Press the button on the top and disconnect the audio. Um, God, we thank you. Or you unplugged it. We, yeah, we having a feedback in the house. One moment, we're in the same room, kind of, sort of. I'm in the loft downstairs, so we're getting an echo feedback of me talking. So whatever you just change, undo it. Leave that thing plugged into the iPad. I can't because my iPad's about to die. That's right. This is what I'm going to do. Uh, Vanessa, you come up and tell us what you're hearing. That'll give me an opportunity to fix what's going on with Donna. So, Vanessa, you can go right there. Tell us about your gratitude and... And we'll... Good morning, guys. As I was uh, just listening come, uh, to the song, to the if words today, a song just came to my spirit. And let me uh, sing that That's for a second. I, the I <laughs> am grateful for the things that you, you have done. Yes, I'm grateful for the vision. To read we won. I could go on and on and on about your word because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. It's flowing from my heart. The issues of my heart, but it's gratefulness. And as Pastor Dunn was talking about the steps for grateful, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to see this day that I had never seen before. I'm grateful that I woke up this morning with God on my mind. I'm glad I got up. I, I, I didn't look like this when I woke up. But I thank the Lord but that he gave me an opportunity to have light and life in my breath. And so, yes, I'm grateful. I, I, I could go on, as I said in the chat, I could go on and on and on. I, I, I had a wonderful Christmas with my family. And as, as, as of today, nobody uh, was diagnosed in these last two days of having any coughs or no sense of smell or loss. We're grateful that COVID did not touch, the pandemic did not touch my family. But 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 y'all, I'm grateful because three of my wayward nieces and nephews, they came with the family and we just had to just let them in. Y'all, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that I have not seen the things God have in store for my family. And before I get too much more emotional, uh, I'm grateful for Pastor uh, Don and Sister Paulette. Pastor Paulette, I thank God for you. That's what I'm grateful for. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, that's what happens when you're full. <laughs> that's what happens when you're full. You just get full like that. 
And it's like, oh, Jesus, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you so much, Minister Vanessa, for blessing us in song. And, and, um, the, and the, you know, when you said your three nieces, I know we've been praying for family. So everyone that's on the line, let's pray right there. For those of us that have family, friends, and loved ones, we have strains in our family. We have family that's not talking to each other. We have family that, for whatever is going on, they think, because a lot of us on the line, we are the called out in our family. Our family don't understand our walk with God. And so they, they persecute us, but really you're persecuting who God has put there to help you. So God, I pray right now for our nieces, our nephews, our uncles, our aunts, our cousins, mama, daddy, grandmama, them. I pray and lift up our entire family, our best friends that we've known since riding bikes and raiding fruit trees, friends, the friends that we knew when we were clubbing, but now we're serving the Lord. I pray and lift up our families right now. And I thank you, God, from the place of an attitude of gratitude, that if you did it for me, if you did it for us, if you brought Vanessa's three nieces in, and you're bringing in my nieces and my nephews, you're bringing in uh, our family like never before. And so we come shifting the cycle in our family with this attitude of gratitude that says, God, you have your way in the lives of our family, friends, and loved ones. Draw them by your power. Draw them by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and bless God. Let's see, is there anyone else on the line that would like to come up this morning and issue forth your decrees of gratitude, your decrees of gratefulness, your decrees of thank you, Lord, for what you've done, or if you heard something in the word on today and you just want to come up at this time, you can uh, uh, come off of mute. Let us know you're there. God is so good. Amen. 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 Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Minister Ezekiel. Uh -huh. Blessings of the Lord and favor in this holiday season to you all. I am very grateful that God has blessed me with my freedom. I'm very grateful that God has put brothers and sisters like you all in my life and in my family and everyone as well. I'm grateful to God that he blessed me to get my own place. I was incarcerated for 22 years and nine months. Most of y'all know my story. God released me and made my first parole. I've been free since 2017. I was living with my mother, a very special woman who's been in my life all these years, has been there for me. I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful for my family. And I'm grateful that God has blessed me to have my own place. And I'm grateful that this is only the beginning I look for God for greater and better things concerning the ministry, concerning my walk, concerning everything in my life. And I'm grateful that I can hear the word. I'm grateful that I have brothers and sisters I can depend on. I'm grateful that someone is always praying for me. I learned that many years ago. And even when I don't know what's going on, even when I didn't understand what was going on, because of the love of God, God had someone praying for me. That's why I'm alive today, y'all because God always had someone in my corner. I knew of my mother, I knew of my grandparents, but then there was people that I didn't even know, people that I've never known. He don't know today, but God revealed this to me. God will always have someone interceding for you, and I'm grateful for that, because God is always the on-time God. Blessings and favor, family. Happy New Year's. Thank you. Amen. That's a powerful testimony. I hope you got your testimony, your gratitude journal ready to come forth and start writing these in there. I mean, you've had a bunch, especially over these last three years, but just start writing and start it from now on because I know, you know what, Ezekiel, can you come back up? I would like for you to pray for, yes, pray for your son and pray for children who are separated from their father well, for whatever reason, whether it's divorce, incarceration, or whatever, but can you pray Thank for you. pray for the children Amen. right now? I, I don't know how I could have forgotten about that just the time. Thank you. Yes, I'm grateful that my son also, let me tell you this before I pray. My son loved me like I've been in his life all these years. Because when I left, my son was born in May. I got locked up in September of 1994. I did 22 years, nine months, came home. All through the year, I wrote my son. Uh, I ministered to my son through letter. He used to come see me. He was very young before he went to Chicago with his mother. And when I came home, 
It's very weak. My son is down here to see me. And right now, today, I can tell my son anything. He listened because of, of God, because of what God had me share with him in letters, and because of what God had me share with him as a father. God allowed me to be a father for him through mail and through the spirit of Christ. And I'm grateful for that also. And Father, I just thank you for today that you are the mighty God, that you are the great I am, that you are the Alpha and the Omega, that you are the beginning and the end, that you are the A to the Z, that you are the all in all, you are the true living God. Lord, and I just want to thank you today that this is new beginning, that you are broadening borders and territories, that you are causing your perfect will and plan to be manifested as you have ordained. So you watch the real words before and it does not return, but I thank you for my son. Thank you that he is who you called him to be in you. And that I am who you called me to be in you. And that every man, every woman who has a son or a daughter who is wayward or incarcerated, Lord, your words say, train a child up in the way he should go. And when he is old, you shall not depart from me. I thank you that they're coming back, Lord. I thank you that they're coming home. I declare it today. I thank you that, Lord, Lord, what you have our name spoken, it shall be performed. It shall return and not return void. And I bless you today, Father. I bless you today, Father. I bless your name today. That you're a God that watches over your word. That you're a God that never lies. That you're a God who is the God of the impossible and the possible. So you make the impossible possible and the possible possible. And I just bless you today, Father, that you are God, a God of favor, a God of wrath, a God of judgment, a God of goodness. And I thank you that Lord God is shall speak and not lie. It shall speak and not lie for your people. I thank you, Lord, for those wayward sons and daughters, uncles and aunties and family members, grandmothers and grandfathers, the wayward life souls, incarcerated left home, on the streets, they're coming back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Powerful, powerful. God, we pray right now, the Luke 15, for those that are believing for a wayward that's out there doing their own thing, we, we send your word. Luke 15, that the prodigals will come to themselves and they'll run back into the presence of their heavenly father. And then we, their natural parents, will receive them with open arms as well. God, you get the glory in Jesus' name. Professor, I'm going to ask you, you want to come up next, Professor? Are you, you ready to come up next? You have to hit your unmute there. Hit the unmute one time. Hit the unmute. There you go. You hear me? Got you. Yes, sir. Go right well, ahead. Uh, this morning, my attention was drawn to Philippians 4, um, 11. Four, I mean, yeah, 4, uh, 6 uh, and 11. It says, whatever situation I'm in, I have learned how to be content. No matter what you are going through, no matter what it is that you're going through, Right now, count it all joy, James chapter one. Remember, it's not what we go through, it's how we go through what we go through. So let us keep an attitude of gratitude in every area of our lives. Sometime you're gonna be up, sometime down, sometime even on the ground, but keep that attitude of gratitude. Sometimes we don't know which way to go, but just we don't know which way to turn. Some things, but God said in his word that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He would be with us until the end. Just remember, remember, remember the attitude of gratitude because we have so much today to be thankful for. God has done so much, so much, so much for us. And God, we thank you for everything you are, we have gone through in 2020. Now prepare us, oh God, for what your plan is for us in 2021. Prepare us, oh God. It, it's gonna be, we're going to have other ups and downs. Sometimes we're going to be on the ground again. But we just got to keep our head lifted up towards heaven. Because he will fight. He has fought and he will fight our battles if we just keep still. 
Uh, if we just keep still and just continue to trust him, lean on him, he will guide us and shield us and protect us and show us the way. Let us not get ahead of him, but just stay with him, trust him, and he will take us on where we go. And thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Praise you this morning. Bless your mighty, wonderful, glorious name in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Happy holidays to everyone on the line. And let's just look forward to a blessed 2021 in the mighty, wonderful, glorious name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. Um, good morning. Let's see. Do we have, I, I like to see, Tanita, are you where you can come offline and share with us what you hear God say and, and by way of gratitude on this morning? Or if you heard anything this morning, Tanita, can you come off the mute? And, and say hello, let us hear you on this morning. Good morning. All right, well, we have anyone else. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Alvin Henderson from Chicago, Illinois. Good morning. Hello. Go right ahead. Good morning. Yeah, I'm grateful, I'm good. I am I am grateful for so much that this year this year's been to uh to ministry uh with pain and sadness and sorrow, but God has brought us all through it. God has kept us from being infected from COVID nineteen, which I'm grateful for. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. God has kept us safe. This the year's been filled with pan uh, a pandemic. God has brought us all through. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for Jesus. Jesus, save us away. Jesus is God today and tomorrow. Praise the good, praise the living God. It's a great night to be grateful for. I'm thankful for all that band ministry. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for the testimonies I heard on heard this morning and the words I heard this morning about the father and son. That's a blessing. I'm, I'm just thankful. I'm waking up this morning, I'm thankful that God is bringing us closer to a new year. We get ready to walk into 2021 from 2020. I'm thankful that we have a vaccine available now for COVID-19. It's going to be passed out to the people so we can be safe and start gathering it back together and stuff like stuff gathering back together and and and, and, and not having these detached from one another. One another. I'm grateful for uh, my life, definitely for my life. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my salvation. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. I'm just so grateful that I don't know what to do for uh, thanking God for being for gratitude, for being in my life, for being helpful, being for being God. I'm grateful, I'm great, I am so grateful. Amen. I, am great. I, 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 I cannot uh, list everything I'm grateful. I cannot list everything I'm grateful for because it's too much that I'm grateful for. I am too much, too happy, too, too much grateful for about it. I'm, I'm just thankful for. God being taking good care of all of us this, this year. He's been taking good care of all of us this year. I don't know what we all been through, but we go through things together and everything like that. Sometimes we go through things not to get together. But God has delivered us from a lot of stuff this year. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to be waking up and going to see 2021. I'm looking forward to seeing what 2021, what 2021 is going to bring about. I'm hoping Amen. Bring Albert, so and much. And Yes, you always excite praise, us when praise, you come praise. up with that excitement. Stay in that place of gratitude. Stay in that place of thankfulness. God, we thank you for Albert's life. We lift up his wife to you, and we thank you for what you're doing in Albert's life in this time and in this season. Albert, go ahead and make sure you place your phone on mute, and we'll see. Tanita, were you able to get up, come up now? Glory to God. Well, if Ty can't come up, I'm opening the line to anyone else. I know that we have the Clemens family on with us this morning. Would you guys like to come up and just tell the Lord thank, thank you on this morning? The line is open. Whoever is available wants to come up next. Pastor Okay, go right ahead. Okay, wait, I'm... 
Uh, who said Pastor Paulette? You're going to go first, and then Uncle Richard will come right after you. So go right ahead. Pastor Paulette, this is Dodie. Good morning to everyone. I just want to come up this morning and just say I'm so very grateful, and I'm so very grateful to Double Portion Kingdom Ministry. You guys have just been uh, a light uh, over these last um, uh, uh nine months since we've been on Zoom in the morning. I know that you all have brought um, sunshine to many families and certainly to my family. So I just want to say thank you. I'm thankful that you all helped me to continue my walk with the Lord each Sunday morning, given that I couldn't get out to go to church in the mornings on Sunday morning as I normally do. But I'm just so grateful. And, and there's so much more that I can just list. But just to be in the relationship with God and to hold fast to his understanding and what we've been through in 20, 2020. I just want to give God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. And um, just, just thank you all again. And thank you for everyone else that's on the line. And I pray that you all have a blessed and, um, 2021 and that God would be with you through your uh, moments in 2021. Thank you this morning for having given me an opportunity to come up. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Doty. And thank you every time we've reached out to you on this year. You were there, whether it was prayer, scripture. Thank you so much. We want to say thank you. Uncle Richard, we'll have you and then we'll have the Clemens right behind you. Well, good morning, everyone. And happy holidays to everybody. And I just want to say the attitude and gratitude for all things that people do for you, you do for people. Show kindness to everyone that you meet. You never know what, what you're being thankful for because people go through things and a little word of courage and encouragement goes a long ways. And I just thank Pastor Don for hitting the points on the attitude and gratitude with God. So as long as you walk in the walk with God, you'll never walk alone. And just be kind to each other. The yes, ma'am, the no, sir, the little thing, thank you. Those go a long way in people's lives. You never know. And just be kind and thankful to everyone you meet and tell them about the goodness of God, what God has brought you through. And may God bless all of you and have a good 2021. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. The line is open. Anyone else would like to come up? Praise the Lord. Good morning, Kirk. Good morning. Good morning to uh, all your family down there, down south. Um, I thank you, praise God, for Pastor Don and your family. Uh, I just thank you, praise God, for who he is in my life. Um, He's been in my life for 60 years. Uh, but I thank and praise him for, you know, I was thinking, praise, thinking, uh, uh, I was lis listening to Pastor Don this morning, and he was uh, talking about being grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for a whole lot of things in my life. Uh, I've been in a lot of trauma in my life, and I thank and praise God for bringing me out of that trauma. I thank and praise God for saving me. I thank and praise God for when I had the aneurysm and I woke up with a bad headache, a headache I never had before. And I didn't know what it was until I got to the hospital. And the doctor came to me and asked me, do I want to live? And I told him, yeah, I want to live. He said, you have an aneurysm. I don't know how you got here. Uh, how did you get here? Because you supposed to have a tag on your toe. When we looked up in your head, you had so much blood in your head that we didn't know how you got here. Uh, somebody, somebody is looking out for you. And I just thank and praise God for who he is in my life. I thank and praise God for when I got shot in the back in 92. And I was thanking and praising God that I was looking at my little brother when he got shot in the back. He's in a wheelchair. And I thank and praise God that I'm not in a wheelchair, that I'm still walking 
and we got shot in the same place in our neck, in the back of our neck. And I just thank and praise God that that I'm still here to tell you guys, to tell you men, not go out to the streets. I talk to young men and I tell them my testimony of how I came over and, and how I left the gangs and and I talk to them about them getting their life together. But I just thank and praise God who he is in my life. And to see my children, my seven children, all of them grown and my baby is 30 years old. I have seven good children and 27 grandchildren. And I just thank and I'm a great grandfather at the age of 60. And I just thank and praise God for who he is in my life. Pray my strength in the Lord. All right. Is there anyone else that would like to come up before we close for the day? Pastor Paulette? Yes. Hi. Good morning to everyone. I just wanted to say I am so grateful, grateful, grateful for Double Portion Ministries. I'm grateful that God has allowed you to be such a blessing in the lives of so many of us and that he's allowed you to rightly divide the word um, that we can enjoy uh, just his word every Sunday morning. So I'm so grateful for all that uh, you and Pastor Don do every Saturday morning, but I'm also so grateful for life. I know that there are many people, as Pastor Don said uh, in his message, that are many people who did not see the end of 2020 and um, who's who lost family members and friends and co-workers. So I'm so grateful that God um, just saw it fit to allow me to see uh, 2020, to, um, to, to allow me to be and to go through the trials and the tests of 2020, but still kept me. Um, so I, I'm grateful this morning for all that God has done. I'm grateful for my family. Uh, his protection over them, as well as my friends, my health and my strength. So I just bless God for all that he's done in my life and in the lives of all of us who are on the call, that we are here to be on the line this morning and just to give him great uh, thanks and, and gratitude on this morning. God bless you. God bless you. Is there anyone else? Um, Pastor Paulette. Good morning. Good morning. This is Crystal. Good morning, Crystal. How are you guys? Doing good. Doing good. Glad to hear you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, 2020 has been like a beautiful nightmare. <laughs> it has been um hard not for just my family and myself, but for a lot of people. But also in 2020, we've seen like so many blessings, so many unexpected blessings, so many blessings that we probably don't even know that we received. And it's just, it's, it's been, it's been a year. And I just want to thank you guys and Double Portion for just helping us to make it through with prayers and encouragement and just facilitating just to come over here and look at us and, and, and just make sure that we're okay. I just want to say thank you. It's, it's been a rough year, but we made it through. And you guys are, are beautiful people. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and from my family Amen. that you guys have helped us tremendously this year. Jeez. And everybody wants to pray for 2020 to be over. We don't know what 2021 has in store for anyone, 
but I do pray that it's better. That it is. That it will be better, not just for myself, but for everybody. That things turn around, that everybody gets on the good foot, that everything is just better mentally, physically, and spiritually, not just for us, but for everybody. And we just want to thank you, Pastor Don, for helping us through this time to people that we had never even met. And you brought out all the love and support and your knowledge of what we were going through as a family. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Wow. So God, we pray right now. We pray a special continued healing anointing over to Ron right now. Everything that's going on in his body, we lift up uh, and we give you access, Holy Spirit, to be the creator. We're calling on the, for a creative miracle in Ron's body, in his spine, and all of the other side effects of problems that are manifesting because of what's going on. We thank you for mobility of his body, things that we take for granted. We thank you that they're not taking it for granted. They're coming and saying thank you. And we come together with them and we release the glory light of Jesus that will come forth and will drive out any everything that, that was wrong, be righted in this time and in this season as you work a creative miracle in Ron's body. I lift up John Smith as well. I thank you for healing if for every surgery that they've undergone, God, that you will go in and you will break up any scar tissue, God, that you will deal with anything that's going on in their body, that they will be healed, that they will baffle the doctors when they go back for their checkup at how they've recovered and how they're changing and being made whole in your presence, God, that you get the glory, that you are showing your calling card, that you are the healer in the midst of all that is going on. And so we pray and lift up all of our family, friends, and loved ones that are in need of healing, God. We thank you for your healing virtue coming forth, your healing virtue, touching the lives of each and every person that is uh, desiring to be healed. We thank you that we would walk in divine health and wholeness. We thank you for the portals of heaven opening and issuing divine health, healing, and wholeness to each and every one of us. God, we thank you. We pray right now for those that are working out and exercising and working on losing weight, getting our dirt suits in better shape. We thank you, God, that you are you will give us God's speed to, be, to get in shape, that as we do our part, you do your part, and the weight falls off, and we get off these medications, and our bodies are being made whole for your glory, that we could carry the glory in this time and in this season, in Jesus' name. Amen. Just want to check one more time. Anyone else online before we do the announcements and close for the day? Glory to God. God, you're good. Yes. Yes. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning, Pastor Brooke. Hi, yo. Good morning, you and Pastor John and everyone on the line. You know, there's, there's so much that we can be thankful for when we look back to January up to now that and I'll say that we are grateful, but we have to say that we are grateful. And um, I just didn't just say that, you know, even when we turn back, God always seems to look forward in our life. He seems to bless us, you know, and, and, and just kind of get us back on track to do the right thing. And, and just kind of keep our eyes focused on Him and us. Like, well, when I think about myself, you know, I haven't even had a cold. I haven't never had the flu. And then to look back from January to now and this pandemic that I'm thankful that me or my family never just really had the COVID. And so, you know, I'm just so thankful for that that we continue to keep up even in even in our mess, even in our trouble, even in our trial tribulations that we continue to keep up. You know, and and, and continue to show their love towards us. You know, and also, I'm just grateful for you and Pastor John. You know, y'all have the care for the people, you know, that y'all continue to reach out, you know, that show y'all love towards, you know, each and everyone that y'all are in contact with. So I just thank God for, you know, his grace and mercy that continues to keep up, you know, even in this time of, of, of pandemic, even when the, the government is not doing the right thing and they struggle and fight, you know, but we still have the one that we can look to. To, to survive us, you know, and, I, and we never went back. And so 
thank you for that because the fact that there's so many people that's out there leaving the needle, leaving someone to you know, pay a bill, uh, can't pay their bill, and, and you know, lose a job and everything. But it seems like everything that's been fostered for me and my family. So I really just have to say I'm thankful for that, you know, even though I seem to not do what he has always called me to do, but he has showed his great mercy towards me and my family. So I'm so thankful to him for that. And um, and I just thank him for just leaving me, you know, and my family as well. So I thank God for you all. May God bless y'all to keep y'all safe. And I just need to pray that this Lord the King and want to lose y'all because the fact that, you know, if it, it's the good that this if it's the beer between the little enough, we don't have to worry about coaches. We don't have to worry about how we're going to get this paid. We don't have to worry about uh, how this going to work out and that going to work out. We just have to trust the dollar. If it came to pass or not yet, it's going to work out. So I do it. So whatever the devil try to do towards us, you know, God going to make it work out. So I do it. And so we just find everything that the devil tries to do on it. Uh, Try to bring to us and put it be out. So I just pray for us that 2021 and that we have to continue to have a with you. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. Amen. Powerful testimony. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, one thing that we've been promising us on the line here, I'm, I'm going with our. Is there anyone else? Anyone else before I close and give our announcement? Amen. Well, again, thank you everyone for um, those words of gratitude coming forth. And also thank you everyone. You can um, follow us on YouTube at Paulette X7. You can send any email questions. If you have questions about the word of God, um, that's one of the mandates that the Lord has given Don and I to be here to answer questions. So you can always email your questions to politics7 at gmail.com and we will get back to you. We also want you to know that the flock of men meet every first Thursday. Every first Thursday, the flock of men meet on the phone line. And so the next call will be on Thursday, January the 7th at 8 p.m. So we want you to get all the men on the line that you know and let them know God is changing their story. It's time for the men to come together as the flock of men and, and be the iron that sharpens iron and have a great time together. And so for our identity retreat that will be at Seeker Springs, April the 16th through the 18th, 2021, it'll be in Monroe, Louisiana. And what we're saying is join us for a wonderful weekend in the Lord's presence, reassuring and discovering identity. There's going to be free time. There's a prayer garden. There's nature walks. There's worship events. We'll have breakout sessions where the men will get together. The women will get together. There'll be ministry events. They'll have challenge courses. Anybody want to ride the zip line with me? Come on. We're going to have good food, fun, and fellowship registration. I'm just seeing it's not on this flyer. It's $75. Um, you register at uh, ticketleap.com. It's the identity conference. And so we have the flyer will be emailed out to you or, or text out to you. You'll have the flyer so you can get information. The $75 includes your two nights stay, three days there, your meals for all of the time. It'll also include a conference t-shirt so that's what the $75 and actually the conference costs more than that. We're covering the other portion and you'll cover that portion and God will cause a double portion anointing to flow to everyone. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so grateful for what the Lord has done and is doing. Pastor Don, have you gotten your, your thing back up or do you need to come up here to my area? All right. God is good. Thank you, everyone, for calling on. We had over 20 something callers on this morning. And so I thank him for um, bringing us together and giving us, keeping us alive in the land of the living. Let me give a quick testimony while Don is getting his, his setup up. Um, I pray for those who have battled or dealt with the spirit of suicide, trying to get you to kill yourself. I was speaking to a young lady on this week and I said, I'm grateful that when I tried to kill myself, I didn't even get sleepy. It should have killed me, but I didn't even get sleepy because I could not take my own life because God needed me to be here right now. That event happened back in 1989. And so if, the, if, if it would have happened in 89, this, it would have been story over. 
but God kept me here because he saw 2020, this last Sunday in 2020, where I would need to be available to decree and declare what thus says the Lord and to be a light in the midst of darkness. And so this is these are some of the things that we have to be grateful for when people are trying to understand why do you do what you do? It's because I have a, a great a gratitude for life and life itself because of the things that I've endured and come through and God is good. And so God, we thank you and we praise you. Pastor Don, are you where we can hear you? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Uh, are you on the phone or are you on the? Y'all work with us. He's working on getting the audio on, on the, uh, on the iPad. It says it's connecting. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you hear me? Gotcha. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for each and every person that came up and with your attitudes of gratitude this morning. It just does my heart fine to just listen to you guys. You know, people don't have to be nice to you. You know, that's one thing that I've learned. And so I need to publicly thank every, each and every one of you just for being so nice to my wife and I from the sewing into double portion ministries. You know, you sew in the, there's people on this line that sew in the double portion ministry every week. And I tell you that each and every one of your dollars are going right back into the ministry, right back into the ministry and the things that we've done. We were able to bless uh, a family uh, so that they could, uh, you know, supply toys for like their grandkids at six, six grandkids. And we were able to bless them this month and just their gratitude for you guys sowing into us so that we can sow into others. Amen, amen, hallelujah. You know, I received a, a cake, you know, FedEx, oh my God. Come on, so you guys, thank you so much for each and every one of you, just for being nice to us, just for being, you know, people don't have to be good to you. So, you know, my mom always taught me, you thank people for, for being nice to you. So thank y'all so much for each and everything that you've done for Double Portion Ministry. Just your getting up, being on this call, you never know that what you say can set somebody else free, Minister Ezekiel. Come on, somebody. But thank to each and every one of you. And as we prepare to transition and go over into 2021, I believe that God is going to do some great things in you and through you. So, mm. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything, but everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, God, we thank you, God, that as we approach 2021 and as we exit 2020, yes, there have been some things. Yes, there have been some circumstances. Yes, there have been some situations. But we walk into 2021 with a spirit of great expectation of you doing great and mighty things through us. God, I pray blessings over each and every person within the sound of my voice, over your families and each and every person attached to you. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your last shall be greater. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you. But most of all, may the Lord give you peace. Shalom. Music ministry. Minister Law, Anasia Figueroa. Come on, let's receive her as she comes. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. So honored to be here to the visionary of this great movement of God. The reasons are that all of you have come, all of us have come here together. There's but one person. To the Holy One give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his only son Because he's given. 